Hi there and welcome back. I have another High Fleet Typhon video, but this time I wanted to focus a little bit more on how to paint High Fleet Typhon wings. I wanted to practice how I was going to do wings before I started the large Forge World Harridan model. And I happened to have a winged hive tyrant kicking about, so I thought I'd use that. But for the rest of the model, I just used my usual High Fleet Typhon recipe, which I have loads of more in-depth videos on how to do that on my channel. I will link one of the videos down below. But for now, as we're focusing on the wings, I'll just do a quick run through of how I painted the rest of the model. So I started off from a white base coat and then painted in all of the armor parts in black and highlighted the armor up using the fang and fenrisian grey. I then painted all of the boned areas on the model and I used Citadel Contrast Magos Purple and I used two coats of that. I then used Citadel Contrast Space Wolves Grey to feather in all of the limbs on the model. And again I used two coats of this here. And I also painted in all of the claws and horns on the model using Citadel Contrast Volupus Pink. And all of these were highlighted up with Army Painter Pixie Pink. I then used the same Volupus Pink to feather in the back part of the head as well. And for the brain, I used Vileo Express Mystic Blue. And for the tail, I just feathered in the same Space Wolves Grey I used on the limbs, and then feathered in some of the Magos Purple in all of the boned areas. But as I said, if you want a more in-depth and in-detail video of how I painted all of this up, you can check out one of my previous High Fleet Typhon videos. But for now, let's get into the wings. So to start off with, I primed the model in the same White Scar Rattle Can that I used for the rest of the model. And at this stage, I did feather in the arms as well using the Space Wolves Grey. But to be honest, I should have waited till after I'd painted the wings to do this. But in either case, uh, it's not a huge deal as we can always go back in and touch up any mistakes that we do make. So firstly, we're going to be applying Volupus Pink via an airbrush. And we're going to want to hit all of the wings here, covering 80% or so of each section of the wings leaving the last 20% in white. And if possible, we want to try and make it a little bit darker at the kind of apex of where we're painting or where it's kind of close to the fingers or spines on the model. And just make multiple light passes with the airbrush until you've got a nice even coat across all of the areas of the wings. Unfortunately, there's not too much you can do about any overspray that goes on to any of the spines of the wings. So don't worry too much about that as we will be going in later on and touching them up. Contrast paints work absolutely fantastic out of an airbrush. The consistency is absolutely perfect and there's no need to add any thinners at all. Just go straight out of the cup. And I always find it gives a really nice smooth coverage. So much so that I may try and use more contrast paints through the airbrush rather than standard paints that need a lot of thinning.
And they have the added bonus that they don't really clog up the airbrush very much, so you don't have to spend a lot of time dismantling the airbrush and cleaning out all of the parts constantly. Next, we're going to add Cadian Flesh Tone to our Volupus Pink at a 50-50 mix to make up our Flesh Tone, which we are going to highlight all of the pink with. Again, I'm using the airbrush. And this time, we just want to cover slightly lesser area, leaving some of the Volupus Pink left behind. And if you do overspray any of this colour, you can always go back in with the previous Volupus Pink just to touch up any of the edges. Next, I went in with a layer of shade to try and tie in the previous highlight layer. And to do that, I used Citadel Shade Caraborg Crimson, mixed in one to four with Glaze Medium. And we just want to make sure we've got a nice and thin mix here, and then just apply it over the entire winged area of the model. And once you've applied that, you'll just need to go back to it kind of every five minutes or so for the first 15 or 20 minutes to make sure that there isn't too much pulling occurring as you'll find that a lot of the wash will kind of pull towards the bottom of the model and you just want to go in with a dry brush and wick it up. And once the wash has fully dried, we can then go in with some grey sear and touch up any of the areas that we had overspray on, specifically the arm and then any of the kind of boned spines that are running through the wing as well. And just take your time here and try not to get any of the white onto the wing itself. But if you do, you can always go back in with the Volupus Pink uh, and do some touch-ups. And once that's done, all that's left to do is to paint any of the horns and claws that are on the wings as well. And to do that, I would just use the same technique of giving it a base coat of Citadel Contrast Volupus Pink and then highlighting it up with Army Painter Pixie Pink. And that's the wings complete and the model is now ready to be assembled and based. And as always I'll use a coat of matte varnish as well to take away the shine of any of the washes that we used during the process.
I'm really happy with the way these wings turned out. I really like the way the pink and the flesh work together and really pop on the model. And I think I'm going to go with this recipe when I do finally get round to painting up the Harridan model. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. And if you do give this colour scheme a try on one of your own models, then let me know how it goes down in the comments below. And if you do have any questions on how to paint this colour scheme, just let me know down in the comments below also. But until next time, happy painting and I'll see you in the next one.